Well, have you guys gone to amusement park or some of the, you know, they have the playgrounds inside uh, some of the restaurant fast food places? Yeah. Yeah, and, and sometimes they have a something like this. They have a, a story that says, if you're, sometimes it says, if you're taller than this, you can't play here. Or some others that says, if you're not at least this tall, then you can't ride this ride. Have you seen some of those? Yeah. 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 I, I just see one, but it's one of the Yeah, yeah. We had, well, I went to Disneyland, Disney World, one of the places down there in Florida, and uh, uh, we had one that wasn't, it was not quite, it was about that much short and couldn't get on it. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, what his parents did, they decided that they, they put folded up napkins and put them inside his shoe. <laughs> that's all he needed. That's all he needed. Well, it's, it's kind of amazing. It's, because it's, it's height. It's not how old you are. Because <clears throat> some that might not be this high might be a whole lot older than people who are this high. Yeah. And we have you know, little people. Yeah. Yeah. And that kind of made a little unhappy. Yeah. But this is, you know, what we're glad of is that God doesn't say, you have to do this much good work before you can live with me in heaven. You have to be up here. Uh, if you didn't, if you only do this much, then that doesn't count. But uh, that's not what God says. God says, guess what? We really we don't do much. We can't do much. We can't, God says, here's my ten commandments. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And he says, you have to live, if you're going to come by doing what I tell you to do, you're going to have to keep every single one of them. You've got to measure up. You've got to do all the commandments all the time. We never make it. None of us will. But God says, guess what? You're lost. That's a good thing. You know why it's a good thing to be lost? Because that's why Jesus came. Jesus came to find the lost. So if you're not lost, he doesn't have to find you. That's kind of confusing. But in the sheep, I, the man had a hundred sheep. Which sheep did he go find? The one that was lost. The woman that had ten coins. Which one did she go looking for? The one that was lost. Well, Jesus came to save all the lost. So what we need to do is to remember that we are lost. <laughs> What's that mean? That means that we're a sinner. That we need God's help. That we can't measure up to God. We just can't do it without his help. But that's what he does. He says, I came, I send the Holy Spirit to you, and I will help you. But first we have to realize that we're lost. People that don't know they're lost, they don't come to church. They think they're fine. They don't need to come to church. But do we need to come to church? Why? Because we're lost. Okay? And if we don't come to church and hear God's word, then we're going to get even more lost. Doesn't mean that God doesn't keep looking for us, but we have to let Jesus find us. No, I'm done. That's one of the mysteries of God. But just know that that's why God, that's what God, Jesus came for. He came so that he can find us. He sends the Holy Spirit after us to find us and to bring us to Him. And we'll talk about that in the sermon, about being lost sheep, lost coins. And we'll add another one to that, too. We'll talk about the lost sons. Okay? So listen to that when we talk about more lost things in the sermon today. Thank you.